is going on man it's scott beams welcome back to another video today we're going to be going over how to mix larry jones beats let's get straight into it all right i'm gonna show you how i made this melody first i got west coast grammy pulled up i got a pad out of there I got this pad from Xenology. I got this bell from the Xenology. Another bell from Xenology. I got an electric piano from Roland. You already know I had to throw the alpha bass in there. And I got this lead out of train. Alright, so now that's all out the way, let's get straight into this mix. And for this mix, I'm going to be using my headphones instead of my speakers. I have the DT770 Pro and they Gucci, man. They solid, they do the job, man. Alright, so I got everything routed to the channel. Alright, so first thing you want to do is level your sounds and make sure that they all at a decent level. Make sure everything is being heard and also not overpowering each other. Since this is a pad and it is layered, um, I'm gonna keep it right here for right now. Um, and then I'll see what I wanna do if I wanna raise it or not. All right, so on this piano, I already have a delay and some vintage verb because I wanted to throw that in there and I wanted to see how it would sound. Um, and it sounds cool. So um, I'm just gonna add an EQ to it.
All right, so all I do right there was just level it a little bit. Just make sure, you know what I mean, it's Gucci um, blending in with the sound, you know what I mean, so far. Um, so let's get to the next sound. All right, so we got the base here. All right, so basically with my base, I keep it around negative 12, negative 9 dB. So basically all that is the EQ, I just fix it up a little bit, delay, you know what I mean? I want to say this is on the fourth step, yep, didn't move at all, and about a vintage curve, presets, save your life. All right, so I think we got all the sounds figured out. Um, I'm gonna route it to one channel. I'm going to hit Control, and I'm gonna left click and drag all my instruments. Then I'm gonna right click, route to this track only. And all of them are coming through that track. I'm just gonna check the level here. I want it to be around negative 12 to negative nine dB. Typically, I'm not gonna hold you. If it's only sounds, I want it to be around negative 12. I'm gonna keep it just like that until I add the drums and see if I could push some more sounds and then I'll mix it like that. All right, so on this channel that I got everything routed to, I'm gonna take the EQ and I'm just gonna take this down one. Now I'm gonna do is just drop it. All right, so let's get straight into the drums. All right, so for my drums, I typically keep all my perks around negative 18 dB, like my snares, my claps, hi-hats. I try to keep those around negative 12. My kick around, I wanna say six. I know, I mean six, I know some people just let it, you feel me? But I, I try to like keep it like six. That's how I really do it. And now I'm gonna level it and um, see what's good. So with the cowbell, I just try to keep it around negative 12, just between, I want the clap and the snare to, to overpower it, but I also want the cowbell to kick through.
I did was level it. Make sure you got good drum samples. Um, all these are in my drum kit, um, free of charge. You dig what I'm saying? Link gonna be in the description. So now all, all I'm gonna do is go through and see if I want to put some reverb on some stuff. I want to delay some things, and let's go through that. Alright, so let's try it on the rim shot. All right, so I think that's cool. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add reverb to all my drums. So what I do is, um, I do it as reverb send. So I go to my empty track, throw a little reverb on there. You know what I mean, just do a drum room. And then all I do is I go through each individual one and I add to, you know what I mean, my liking and see how I really feel. So for my master, all I have is an EQ, a soft clipper. I also have a T-Rex classic clipper. So I'm gonna show you what I do with this. All right, so I see that I'm getting 
a little bit of gain reduction here. Um, I'm gonna push it to negative one or negative two. You see how it sounds. Right, that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you found something useful if you did man hit that like button if i'm doing a good job make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you comment below what you want to see next man i'll see you guys in the next one peace and one love you heard